Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another Sport This Week video. And in today's video, I've got tennis, basketball, baseball, rugby, football, NFL, UFC, boxing, cricket, and F1 news. If you are new around here and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do indeed like the video. And let's get straight into it. Just a little heads up saying that this probably is the longest, uh, well, I mean the biggest uh, Sport This Week I've done. So I don't know how long it'll be. It probably won't be too long, but um, yeah, just a little heads up. But yeah, starting off this week, I'm going to start off with the baseball news, which is them making a return. Um, and this week, Red Sox won 14-1 to versus Twins. Yankees won 4-3 versus Pirates. Red Sox won 7-6 versus Rays. Giants lost 7-3 versus Cubs. Yankees drew 3-3 versus Orioles. Red Sox won 1-0 versus Twins. Giants won 8-5 versus Rockies. Red Sox won 3-2 versus Orioles. Yankees lost 8-7 versus Tigers. And Dodgers drew 2-2 versus Cubs. Uh, and yeah, that is all the baseball news. Moving on to the basketball news, where Lakers lost 140 to 111 versus Suns, Clippers lost 120 to 111 versus Cavaliers, 76ers lost 114 to 110 versus Nuggets, Bulls lost 112 to 103 versus Kings, Lakers lost 114 to 103 versus Raptors, Heat 105 to 98 versus Pistons, 76ers lost 118 to 114 versus Cavaliers, Lakers lost 124 to 104 versus Timberwolves. Bulls lost 125 to 110 versus Jazz. Clippers 110 to 88 versus Warriors. Clippers lost 103 to 100 versus Raptors. Seven Sixers won 111 to 101 versus Mavericks. Lakers lost 128 to 103 versus Raptors. Heat, oh well, Heat won 120 to 108 versus Thunder. Clippers lost 121 to 92 versus Jazz. Celtics won 126 to 97 versus Kings. Bulls lost 129 to 102 versus Suns. Lakers uh, and Lakers lost 127 to 19 versus 119 versus Wizards. And yeah, that is all the basketball news. Moving on to the tennis news now, what is the continuation of the Indian Wells competition? Uh, and Sissipas lost. Uh, no, Sissipas and Lopez won 2 0 versus Poets and Venus. Zverev lost 2 1 versus Paul. Medvedev lost 2 1 versus Monfils. Nadal won 2 0 versus Evans. Severov and Golubev won 2 0 versus Arivalo and Roger. Sissipas lost 2 1 versus Brooksby. Nadal won 2 0 versus Apella. Severov and Golubev won 2 0 versus Fritz and Paul. Sissipas uh, and Lopez lost 2 0 versus Isner and Sok. Uh, Nadal won 2 0 versus Krigios. Severov uh, and Golubev lost 2 0 versus Isner and Sok. Uh, Nadal won 2 1 versus Alcaraz. Isner and Sok won 2 0 versus Gonzalez and Roger Vaseline to win the Indian Wells men's doubles. Uh, Swiatek won 2 0 versus Sakari to win the Indian Wells women's singles. And Nadal lost 2 0 versus Fritz to, in to win the Indian Wells men's singles, which is a bit of a surprise, really, as I uh, didn't really expect uh, Nadal to lose, but he did in the end. Uh, so, fair play to Fritz. Moving on to the rugby news now, where it's the continuation of the Six Nations. Uh, Italy won 20-21 versus Wales, Ireland won 26-5 versus Scotland and France won 25-13 to versus England to win the Six Nations. So congratulations to France, a bit of a surprise that they won in the end but I mean they did play really well going into the tournament, I didn't really expect them to win but yeah fair play to them. Uh, moving on to the football news now. Man City drew 0 vs Palace. Atletico Madrid won 1 vs Man U. Benfica won 1 vs Ajax. Spurs won 2 0 vs Brighton. Villarreal won 3 0 vs uh, Juventus. Chelsea drew 1 1 2 no, 1 2 1 vs Lille. Liverpool won 2 0 vs Arsenal. Southgate announced his England squad with Gehi making his first call up. Barcelona won 3 1 vs Galatasaray. Atlanta won 1 0 vs Leverkusen. Braga drew 1 1 vs Monaco. Everton won 1 0 vs Newcastle. Roma drew 1 1 vs Viterz. Renons won 2 0 2 1 vs Leicester. PSV won 4 0 vs Copenhagen. Marseille won 2 1 vs Basel. Feyenoord won 3 1 vs Partizan. Lask won 3 uh, 4 3 vs Slavia Prague. AZ drew 2 2 vs Bodo Glimt. Pauk won 2 1 vs Genk. Um, Ghent. Uh, West Ham won 2 0 vs Sevilla. Frankfurt drew 1 1 vs Batiste. Lyon drew 1 1 vs Porto. Red Star won 2 0 vs Rangers. Champions League draw was announced. Uh, Chelsea will play Real Madrid. Man City will play Atletico Madrid. Villarreal will play Bayern. And Benfica will play Liverpool. And it was the Euro Europa League draw where Leipzig will play Atalanta. Frankfurt will play Barcelona. West Ham will play Lyon. And Braga will play Rangers. Then it was the Euro Europa Conference League draw where Bodo Glimp will play Roma. Feyenoord will play Slavia Prague, Marseille will play Pauk, and, and PSV will play Leicester. Sorry, I just kind of joked then. 
Um, moving on, Leeds won 3 2 versus Wolves, Arsenal won 1 0 versus Villa, Inter drew 1 1 versus Fiorentina, uh, Chelsea won 2 0 versus Middlesbrough, Bayern won 4 0 versus Union Berlin, Monaco won 3 0 versus PSG, Palace won 4 0 versus Everton, Leicester won 2 1 versus Brentford, uh, Man City won 4 1 versus Southampton, Cadiz won 1 0 versus Villarreal, Leverkusen won 2 0 versus Wolfsburg, Spurs won 3 1 versus West Ham. Roma won 3 0 versus Lazio, Sevilla drew 0 0 versus Sociedad, Leicester won 1 0 versus. No, Liverpool won 1 0 versus Forest, uh, Dortmund drew 1 1 versus Cologne, uh, Marseille won 2 0 1 versus Nice, and Barcelona won 4 0 versus Real Madrid in the uh, El Casco, which is a big surprise, really. Uh, moving on to the NFL news now Packers will, is releasing Smith, Browns releasing Landry, Dolphins signing Ogba. Dolphins agree to terms with Edmonds. Cardinals agree to terms with Connor. Uh, Steelers signing Trubusky. Seahawks signing Diggs. Eagles agree to terms with Reddick. Uh, Jaguars signing Kirk. Packers re signing Campbell. Chargers signing Jackson. Uh, Dolphins signing Bridgewater. Jaguars signing Engram. Jaguars signing Jones. Jets signing Uzma. Uh, Whitworth announced retirement. Uh, Broncos signing Gregory, Ravens signing Williams, Falcons signing Koo, Buccaneers signing Gage, Giants signing Taylor, uh, Jaguars signing Williams, Raiders signing Nasib, Raiders signing Jones, Titans re sign uh, no releasing Jones, uh, Bills signing Miller, uh, Dolphins signing Mustert, uh, Buccaneers signing Godwin, Bills releasing Beasley. Rams signing Robinson, Steelers signing Jack, Raiders trading for Adams, Chiefs signing Smith Scush Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I mean I have. Um Falcons agreed to terms with Patterson, Rams extend Stafford and Titans training for Woods. And yeah, that is all the NFL news. Moving on to the boxing news where uh, Ura will fight no Ever not Ura Ever will fight Salah on the 30th of April which I thought I might as well mention I'll probably do a prediction for it because it's just funny um, but yeah that's random uh, 4 won via unanimous decision versus Hall which I mean I did not predict right and it wasn't it wasn't it was a somewhat of an interesting fight at the start but it kind of just slowed down after they both got a bit tired and the Halls were just just did the same punch over and over again it got predictable um, so it wasn't amazing but you know, it's interesting to see, I suppose. Uh, McKinson won via unanimous decision versus Martin. Rocha won via TKO in round nine versus Cobbs. McCann won via unanimous decision versus Tondo to become WBC Young Super Bantamweight Champion. And Avani Sian won via stoppage in round one versus Mets to become EBU European Welterweight Champion. Um, and yeah, that is all the boxing news. Moving on to the UFC news. McCann won via decision in round three versus Carolina, uh, Carolina, which was an amazing knockout. If you haven't seen it, go have a look on like the highlights or something. It was amazing. Um, Pimblet won via dis- submission in round one versus Vargas. You gotta love Pimblet <laughs> as a UK fighter. You gotta love him. I mean, UFC London this was and it's a very good card, and and did not let down. I suppose. Um, Allen won via KO in round one versus Hooker. And Aspinall won via submission in round one versus Volkov. And yeah, that is all the UFC news. Moving on to the F1 news now, where it's the return of the F1 new season. Uh, Hulkenberg replaced Vettel for the Bahrain Grand Prix. And it was the Bahrain Grand Prix. Leclerc was on pole, Verstappen started second, and Sainz started third. And ended, Leclerc won, Sainz finished second, and Hamilton finished third, which was the first Ferrari first and second place since 2019. Uh, and Verstappen did not finish as he had to retire. It's two laps before the end, which is a bit unfortunate to him for him. Uh, well, more than a bit, but, you know, yeah. It just means for an interesting first race, I suppose. Uh, not to see either Hamilton or Verstappen on first place. And, yeah, moving on to the final sport now, which is the cricket news, where England drew versus West Indies, meaning it's still nil-nil in the series with one match remaining, and that one match is going to be a big match. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you have enjoyed. Like the video if you didn't need like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And thanks for watching.